All right, I'm in the Tiger Cat LA30C, and I'm going to show you all how the controls work on this machine. You've got six buttons on the back of each joystick. Both joysticks have six buttons on it. And then each joystick has a trigger on the front of it, too. And you use every button on it except for two buttons is what you use. So it'll, it'll, each button has a purpose except for one. And this, that's this inside button on each side right here is what it is. Okay, on the bot, the bottom two buttons of each on each side are your clamps on your grapple. This side over here is your main clamps. Uh, when you hit this button right here, it opens your main clamps. Uh, sun's so bad right there, damn it. It opens it, and then when you hit the uh, inside button right there, it closes the clamp. Same thing over here. If you hit the outside button, it opens your, your secondary clamps. And then if you hit the inside button on that, it closes them and everything. So so if you're going to dump, you've got all, both sets of clamps closed. you got to hit the outside button on each one of those to, to make it, make it dump, make all four, all four fingers open and dump. All right. Then the top buttons right here, or your or your leveling these two right here you're leveling on the left side this is your left and right level so if i'm standing if i'm sitting with the idler in front the idlers are in front right now the track motors are behind me when i hit this side it goes to it leans to the left if i hit this the inside right there it leans it to the right okay and then right here on this side then if i hit the front the inside button right there it tilts it forward toward your idlers you hit this button right here it tilts it back now on these leveling machines they don't tilt as far backwards as they do forward so anytime you're on a hill you've always got to have your idlers up and that's a good thing in here too because you don't wear on your on your sprockets as much when it's like that all right and then the trigger right here the trigger when you hit this trigger on the left it rotates the head to the left right there let me spin over out of the sun again and that head will spin almost completely upside down right there. It'll, it likes it just a little bit going all the way completely. But you can see the see the horn of it's down there. And then this trigger right here, when you hit it, it rotates the head back the other way. It's the way that it works. And of course, it will go all the way, almost completely upside down this way too. I mean, it doesn't miss it by far. It goes up about right in there and stops. I'm not going to go till it bottoms out, but all right. And then the same thing with this outside button right here. It also works to rotate. So you can work the rotate on the head with this button or the trigger, either one. Same thing on this side over here. You can work it back, back that away, or you can work it with the trigger right there too. So what all that equates out to is there's a freaking bunch of crap going on when you're running this thing in this in this machine here of course the pedals you know you just push forward on them to go forward and back on to go back you know if you want to turn you it's just like a excavator same thing like that but uh this is a wild machine to run man it's it's by far the hardest machine that i've ever tried to to master and I'm, I'm pretty good on it. I can get it done, you know, and everything like that. But as far as, like, there's some little trick things that I hadn't quite figured out that I have uh, that I know Derek can do. I, I struggle a little bit when I'm on the hills and and I get one track. One track sits down pretty good on me. I don't catch it right all of a sudden because you think, well, it don't go in the ground that quick. By gosh, this song going to go in the ground so fast and make your head spin. And, uh... Because this machine right here, when we bought it, weighed 86,000 pounds. And then they did some updates on the undercarriage down there. And it's got another couple thousand pounds of steel on it since we bought it. So it's bumping. It's getting up close to 90,000 pounds. And, but I, uh, I struggle a little bit there. But, but I'm figuring that out. And there's, there's a handling some of the big trees too, man. Uh, really jacks you up too but oh and then the, the way this the main stick work this is your right swing 
and this is your left swing, and this is your pulling back on the stick, booms your stick in, and pushing out on the stick, booms your stick out. And then, uh, of course, this is your main boom. This picks your boom up, and then pushing down on it, uh, lets the boom down, the main boom down. Uh, pushing to the right on it, dumps the head, and then pulling to the left on that stick, pulls the head back. Now this machine's got the ER boom on it, and what the ER boom is, is normally, like on, a, on some older style cutters and everything, when you cut, you had to push forward on both sticks at the same time, because you had to push, you had to make your main boom go down and your stick go out where the head, where the head went level out. Well, the way this machine works here is, is you can just, if you want to cut a tree, you can just hit out, and when you hit out, on, when you push out on this right here, it automatically drops your main boom and pushes your stick boom out at the same time. That's what the ER is on it, but and you got all this other junk. It's got all kind of controls and everything in it here, and lights and monitor there and monitor up there and all, but I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that little little deal. We finished with the job. I, I finished cutting it uh, a little bit ago, so wait on low boy to come pick it up. So we'll see y'all later.